What is going on guys? Welcome back to the 11th episode of the Glide tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at uh, actually starting to implement our player, but we're going to be implementing him in the menu scene and not in the game scene just yet. So if you've downloaded the artwork folder from the website or from Patreon, um, you have this model folder right here with a plane in it. This plane is what we're going to be using to actually, uh, well, play. <laughs> That's going to be our player right there. So I invite you to take it and just drag and drop it in the middle of your scene and it's going to give you something like this. So it is going to give you a plane with weird rotation and weird scale values and that is totally my bad, but um, we're going to be working with that actually. <laughs> so what I invite you to do right here is to actually rotate it towards forward so it looks something like this. So basically 0, 0 and then minus 90 in X and 90 in Z and this way it actually points forward, even though the model doesn't point forward, the model actually points um, in a really weird direction is forward is right here. So let's not care about that. We are going to be wrapping it up in a other object later on. So this plane right here, I'm going to rename it to player. And we're going to be creating a camera around that player so we can have some nice effect in the menu scene. So what I invite you to do right here is to actually take your main camera, click on add component, and this is going to be the menu camera. We don't already have any menu camera. What we have right now is only some UI that moves. We never really move the camera. So right now we're going to be taking full advantage of the menu camera. So here is the logic we're going to be using for this script. Every time we change menu, so we go from the main menu to the shop menu or to the, uh, the level menu, we want to be changing the angle we're looking at the plane from. So um, we're going to need to public transform, public transform that's going to be the shop waypoint and another public transform that is going to be the level waypoint. There's also going to be another, well, two other fields right here, a private vector three, that is the start position and a private quaternion. That's going to be the start rotation. Did I say rotation twice? Well, position and then rotation, we're keeping both. And finally, since we want to have some smoothing in there, we really love uh, smoothing. We're going to do private vector three, desired position, and private quaternion, desired rotation. Now you might have guessed it already, but we're going to have a private void start. And in the start, we're going to be setting both of our start position and our start rotation. So the start position is going to be something like uh, is equal to desired position and is also equal to transform dot local position at the beginning. Let's do the same thing for start rotation. So equal to desired rotation, equal to transform dot rotate, oh, actually dot rotation. And this way we can keep track of the very first menu waypoint because the main menu is going to have this, um, this default waypoint with the start position and also the start rotation. Now, if we want to make sure we actually have some smoothing going on, we have to do it in a update. And we need to actually do something like transform local position is equal to a vector three. And then we lerp in between the current position we have. So transform dot local position again, and the desired position. The speed I like to use for any of those lerps is 0 0.1 because it's fast and it just looks good. Um, and then afterward, we do the same exact thing, but for the rotation. So transform local rotation. And this one is a quaternion. So make sure you do quaternion dot lerp using the transform rotation and the desired rotation. Again, 0 0.1 to make it look good. So that's all we need at this point. All we have to do is to make sure we, um, whenever we click on any of those buttons, we make sure we change the desired position to a, any of the waypoints we have. So, um, so we're gonna be putting some public function down here that are gonna be used um, outside of this script public void back to main menu, which is going to be called whenever we navigate to the main menu. And then we also have public void, um, something like back to shop, or let's actually call this move, move to shop. And this one is going to be, of course, move to level or move to play. Let's call it move to level. It makes a little bit more sense. Um, when we have back to menu, we're going to say desired position is equal to the start position. And then of course the rotation, desired rotation is equal to start rotation. Sorry about my phone. I should have muted. Um, 
then move to shop is going to be desired position is equal to shop waypoint local position make sure it's the local one and desired rotation is equal to shop waypoint local rotation same exact thing in the move to level however we're going to be using the uh, level waypoint so level waypoint here and level waypoint there this way we just made a camera um, that we can't really test right now because we don't have the waypoints and here we go we have the whole script for our camera so make sure you save this and we're going to head over to the game scene oh sorry not the game scene the menu scene really quickly so we can actually um, plug in those functions so as you can tell we have those three public function we need to call them and the way we're going to be calling them is inside of the menu scene so in our menu scene i am going to declare a public instance of that menu camera so public menu camera um, you could be making it private you could do a fine object of type since there's only one it's really up to you in fact let's actually do the fine object of type so private menu camera let's just call it menu cam and in the start function let's say something like um, find the only menu camera and assign it so menu cam is equal to find object of type menu camera and then what is going to happen at this point is that we have to um, call those function at the appropriate places and that is in our function called navigate to so if we just collapse these function we find the navigate to here it is we are going to be um, calling the menu camera from here so menu cam this is back to main menu now this one is menu cam to waypoint move to level actually and this one is going to be move to shop and here we go so everything is linked together now all we need at this point is to set up the references and the references if you guys remember are the shop waypoint and also the level waypoint let me show you exactly how this is going to work and now this could be a it's going to be a weird thing to do but um, you're going to have to go in game actually find a really good angle you can use for your camera so what i'm going to do right here is i'm actually going to find the perfect place where I can put um, the waypoint for the main menu. So maybe something like 2.5 in wide and we get closer. So maybe 7.5 and it really depends on what you want. You can also play with the rotation. We have that in the script as well. And what if we zoom in a little bit more? And there we go, this could actually look quite good. So this one, I can do it from here. That's really simple. But the two others, the two other waypoint, I have to do them um, inside of the game almost just to get a good feeling of it. So I'll create two new objects. This one is going to be the shop waypoint. And it doesn't need any, like, it doesn't need any visual. It doesn't need anything. It's simply going to be a transform that holds information. Same thing for the level waypoint. And let's actually assign the references right away. Why not? So click here and there. Now what I'll do is I'll go inside of the game. Wait until it boots. And then if you just have a look at this, as you can tell, it just goes to 0, 0, 0, which is not something we want in this case. So um, we are going to actually just take our camera. I'm simply going to be taking my camera. I'll put this on the other screen. Well, something like that, split screen. And then I'll just find the perfect angle when I'm in the shop. So right here, I have my shop waypoint. Actually, I'll take my camera, press on pause. Sorry about this, <laughs> this is confusing. So the game is paused right now. I have my main camera selected. And what I'm going to do is just, what's the key mine already? It is align with view, so control, shift, and F. And just move around my scene while spamming well not spamming but just clicking on Control shift and f until i find a good angle that could work so trying to center it a little bit more maybe get closer remember there's going to be a trail that follows up to um to this plane so i want to be leaving some room to look at the trail and something like this doesn't seem too bad actually so i'll just be like, uh, I messed up. <laughs> so you just find the perfect angle. Like this is gonna be good for me. So if I don't like it in the end, I'll just modify it. But 
this is the angle I want. What I'm going to do is don't touch on anything, don't stop the game. Just go on your main camera, right click on your transform, do a copy component, and then you're going to stop the game. Find your, well, go back in the main menu, then find your shop waypoint, right click, paste component as values. Let's go back in the preloader and do the same exact thing, but for the other one, for the other waypoint. But if you want to have a look real quick, this is what our shop looks like. So it is fairly cool, nice angle. And now let's actually look for the level angle. Um, in the preview, I had it looking on the left side and we didn't even see the plane. But what I think I'll be doing right now is I'll actually push this forward. So let's take the main camera, press on pause. And I think I'll just go like forward like this. And then we can see all the levels. So maybe something simple like that. Of course, you can play around as much as you want. I'm going to take this angle right here, do a copy component, and then paste this on my level waypoint. So paste. And here we go. We managed to create our menu camera. We've put the player in there. Of course, he's not moving right now, but it is a start, as you can tell. And this is what happens when you go inside of the play menu. This is what happens when you go inside of the shop. And we now have angles for pretty much everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please leave a like on the video. Also check out the Patreon page, check out the Facebook page, check out all these pages because there are so many things on the internet. And what are you still doing here? Click on that video on the screen right now to head over to the next video in which we're gonna be talking about colors. We're gonna be putting colors on the player. That's what we're gonna be doing next episode, guys. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you there.